Hey guys, it's AJ. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching me and Mr. Vuitton. Today I am here for a kind of a long-awaited video. <clears throat> it's been probably at least a week, a week and a half since I've uploaded a video and um, I've just been really nuts at work. We we're really busy again, which is great after um, things have kind of opened back up from being all closed down because of COVID. Um, but we're just really busy and I've had things around the house to do and lawn work and all that fun stuff. So um, I just haven't had a chance to get this video up. In addition to being busy, I just have had um, I, I, a couple of the things that I'm gonna share with you, I have been coming in. It's gonna seem like a lot, but they've kind of been coming in over the past like month, month and a half. And so um, I was waiting on some things to be able to just do this as a collective haul because I thought that would make more sense. Um, but anyway, with that said, I wanted to just kind of share this. This is sort of out of the ordinary for me. Normally I stick with um, like the higher end designer bags, but honestly, I've been really getting into the contemporary designers. So like your Tory Burch, um, I have a new bag from Rebecca Minkoff, which I've never owned any of her handbags before. And uh, also Michael Kors, which I've always been a big fan of Michael Kors and of course Coach. Um, to be honest, I've kind of like, I don't wanna say that I've lost interest with luxury, but I have definitely um, refocused what I really like in terms of my handbag collection and what I'm purchasing. And um, truth be told, there are a lot of really nice bags that you can get from contemporary designers that don't cost a fortune. They're leather, they're really nice quality bags um, and that I really like. So um, <clears throat> I have just been sort of rethinking my collection. I did decide to part with my artsy my Louis Vuitton Artsy um, in the color Neige, or Neige, it was the cream color, um, just because I I didn't really reach for it that much. It was extremely heavy because it was the Empreinte leather. Um, I used it the other day to go shopping a little bit for like an hour and my arm literally was like broken off. And um, so I just really decided that that was kind of a lot for a bag that was such a light color and then I really just didn't reach for it that often. So I, I sold that bag um, and I'm down now to two basically like higher end designer luxury handbags, which I'm happy with that, it's fine. And I'm, I'm not to say, that's not to say I'll never buy another Louis Vuitton bag again um, or another you know designer handbag, but for right now, just with what I'm focusing on and you know how I wanna spend my money and what I'm really liking in bags, I've just really gravitated more towards the contemporary designers. Um, and a lot of that has to do with which you will see is colors. I don't like to spend a whole lot, like I wouldn't buy probably a Chanel bag or a, another um, luxury designer handbag in like a bright color or a light color. Um, again, just simply because they're, you know, you just have to be a little more careful and, um, you know, it just is kind of nice to have lesser expensive bags in colors because then if something happens, heaven forbid, or they get stained or color transfer or something, then you're not having a $2,000, $2,500, you know, four or $5,000 handbag that's then damaged. So um, I will get into all of my reveals of all the items that I've picked up. And if I can link any of them below, if I can find them and link them, I will do so. Um, and I'll just kind of go through them in terms of like the oldest to the most recent that I've purchased and kind of just tell you the rationale behind them and where I purchased the bags from. So I hope you enjoy and we will get going. The first one I want to share with you is this, um, which I'm actually using for, to start out my week. So all of my items are down inside. This is the Michael Kors Kareen um, handbag in the color uh, Lavender Mist. It's coming up like a really light gray white almost on the screen. It definitely has more of a, there you can kind of see it. It's definitely a true like lavender, I would say, um, but it's really a pretty bag. I saw this bag initially, this is for Michael Kors, as I said, and this bag I initially saw on the Michael Kors site in I think like black or maybe the army green color. And I really liked the style 
because it reminds me kind of of the Balenciaga City um, bag, but I didn't want to spend retail on it. All of these bags that I'm going to show you were all on sale. So it was, they were all just actually on really good sale. So I, as a general rule, I'll never buy a contemporary designer handbag at full price. I just won't do it. You know, there's Macy's, there's Bloomingdale's, there's the vendor's website, the designer's website. There are so many places that you can buy contemporary designer items and get some kind of a discount that I generally will never buy them full price. I'll wait for them to go on sale or I'll, you know, wait for some kind of a um, incentive or coupon code or something. So this bag I think retails for $2.98. This is the small size and I got this for, I, I think it was $1.46. So it was like 50% off. But anyhow, this is just a really nice bag. It's great for work because it's just easy. I can grab it this way. It goes on my sh my the crook of my arm. Or the strap I really, really liked because it's like a, it reminds me of kind of like a guitar strap. It's a wider adjustable strap. It does not work on me crossbody. If I was shorter, it would, um, but it's a good shoulder bag. But I just think this is a really sharp little bag. It has the um, silver hardware and it has this beautiful Michael Kors emblem. And so far so good on the color transfer. I almost didn't keep it because I was a little bit concerned about color transfer, but I mean, so far I don't have anything. And for the price, I just really loved it to the point where I didn't want to want to return it. So um, it's pebbled leather, it smells great. The strap is really nice. It has the, just a lot of nice details on it. So. Yeah, that is probably the oldest one that I've gotten, again, from Michael Kors. They're having really good sales right now. So um, this is one that I picked up off of the Michael Kors website. Always check Ebates too, because you can get extra off. That helps, even if it just helps with the tax, it's, you know, better than nothing. So um, I will actually, I'll show you another Michael Kors item while I'm on the subject of Michael Kors. These two were from, these are, this is a pair of shoes. These were from the Michael Kors website as well, part of the sale that they're having right now. And I loved these. They remind me a lot of Louis Vuitton. Um, but these are a clog. They're like an oiled kind of leather, flat leather with the studs around the bottom. And then the buckle has the MK in the signature brown monogram canvas there with the studs. Obviously, these are more fall, but I thought these would be really, really cute in the fall, like with a pair of um, jeans or even like with a skirt or something. So this is called the Robin Closed Toe Clog. Um, and these were marked down to 85, I think, from... 178 maybe they were also about 50% off so that is the pair of shoes that I picked up and I really like them they're very comfortable true to size and they sort of have the molded footbed so that is the pair of shoes that I picked up and I really liked those I think they'll be nice for fall generally I don't buy designer shoes just because I am harder on shoes and it, it's just you know they're going on the ground they're going to see where, but I liked those a lot and I thought those would be versatile. So the next bag that I want to share with you was my very first from Rebecca Minkoff. I've been watching, if you're into to contemporary designer handbags and, and accessories and items, definitely check out the MK lady here on YouTube. Um, she does a ton of unboxings and reveals and reviews on all contemporary designer handbags, Michael Kors, Rebecca Minkoff, um, Coach, Tori Birch, yada yada. So definitely check out her uh, YouTube channel. But she unboxed a Rebecca Minkoff. I've always loved the Chanel Boy bag. I'll start with that. And I just have never wanted to spend the money on one. So um, I just wanted a black, simple, flat bag and she unboxed the jumbo the larger size and mink it wasn't it was color like pink mink or light mink or whatever their like beigey color is and I'm like this is a really nice bag and I you know read a lot of good reviews on it and whatnot and it just seems like a nice kind of staple black bag so 
This bag is the Rebecca Minkoff, um, it's not the small love, I think it's just the medium. Um, and I purchased this from Bloomingdale's when they were doing their friends and family sale. So there again, I, the reason I went with black is because I don't really have any, I have my Maxi from Chanel and my Givenchy Antigona <clears throat> and my Coach Riley, but I don't really have any smaller black, all black handbags. Um, there is this with the strap on then. So I liked this a lot and I liked that the size was similar to the boy bag. It has the turn lock closure. And then it's just very much like the boy inside. It has like a cot or kind of like a nylon-y type lining and pockets there in the back. But this bag smells amazing. It's a beautiful leather. And it's funny because I really wanted this quilted, like this standard quilted um, design in the black. I guess I should back up and say I got the black because also that's a color that doesn't really go on sale very often because it's such a like a staple color and with it being included in the family and friends it was I thought it was definitely worth it to go for the black um but in any event <clears throat> I wanted the quilted because this comes in chevron or quilted and the chevron is what was pictured and that's what I purchased and then when I got the bag and was opening it, I'm like, this doesn't look like chevron. I This is strange. It's not the chevron, which was fine because I had wanted the quilted, but I couldn't find the quilted anywhere. So it kind of worked out that they apparently sent me the wrong thing. Um, but it worked out to my favor because I had wanted the quilted. But there's an up close of it. It's really a nice bag. It's beautiful. Again, smells really yummy and it holds quite a bit, honestly, for its size because it kind of gives. So... That is a new bag to my collection from a brand new designer. Never have owned any Rebecca Minkoff bags before I have my eyeglass case or my sunglass case from her line, but that's it. So that is my new black, smallish black bag with the gold hardware. I love the gold hardware in that as well. And then the last two bags that I want to share with you, I picked up from TJ Maxx just last week, my lo local TJ Maxx. Actually, I have three more to share with you. I've been going kind of crazy, as you can see. <clears throat> but this one, I could not pass up. It is too dang cute. This is the Michael Kors. Let me, the tags are all still on it because I haven't used it yet. This, like I said, is from my local TJ Maxx. This is the Michael Kors Delaney Chestnut medium canteen messenger and this is in the um embossed croc leather it smells very good it's a nice kind of sturdy leather and i just think this is the cutest bag i've always kind of wanted this like hat box or canteen shaped bag i just think it really is cute and timeless and um this bag actually i think will hold pretty much considering its size the zippers in the front and then it just is like an open pocket in there um, and kind of gusset it on the side. Uh, it does have a pocket on the back, which doesn't look particularly roomy. So I don't really know what I would put in there. Maybe like a kid, a card, like a swipe card or something you needed to carry. But yeah, I just thought this was really cute. This one was probably like past season or something. I don't believe that it looks like it's from the outlet from for TJ Maxx. But this was originally $2.58 and it was at TJ Maxx for $89.99. So that is um, one of my finds from TJ Maxx. I think this is just an absolutely darling bag and then it has this nice shoulder strap to go with it. I'm sure it could probably go crossbody as well. Such a pretty color. Came in black as well, but I really was gravitating towards this brown. I don't have a small bag in this color in my collection. So that's the Delaney. Another item that I got at TJ Maxx when I was there, strictly I fell victim to the color. This bag is just absolutely stunning. This is the Michael Kors, um, what is this one called? I don't remember, isn't that terrible? This is called the CC, the Medium CC Chain Shoulder. And this one is in the color Admiral. This was originally $3.78 and I got it at TJ Maxx for 
Um, this bag I was shopping and I hadn't been there since things like started to reopen. And I really had, I had gone back to TJ Maxx very shortly after everything kind of opened back up. And it was a Friday night, there was like a million people in there and they had very, very low selection in terms of their merchandise. They just hadn't gotten that much stuff back in from being closed down. So I just gave up and left that night. Um, but this bag was sitting like, if you kind of like back there, well, it looks still looks very blue. In the purse section at TJ Maxx, they have like the shelves in between the rat, the like hangy hooks for all the bags. And this was sitting on a shelf and I'm like, oh, it's just another, it's very beautiful, but it's just another black with gold hardware bag. And I picked it up and brought it out of the shelf and was like, oh, it's the most beautiful navy. I don't have any navy bag. I don't think I've ever owned a navy colored bag, but you can get a good look at the color there. It is the most stunning, rich navy blue color. And then of course with the gold hardware, it's just stunning. I love this little key fob here. I think it's pretty non-operational, but it's just a really pretty little detail. It's really nice and poofy leather. And it just is a gorgeous bag. It's a flat bag. Um, and then it's very reminiscent, honestly, of the Lulu, the Saint Laurent Lulu. But the chain strap on this is just beautiful. Um, and then it has the leather brake there but I just love this bag it's oh my gosh I could smell it all day it's absolutely just a beautiful handbag in my opinion um, and then it has the push lock opening and it has a couple of pockets on the inside there so like I said this bag just really kind of found me I was not even gonna really look at it because I thought oh it's black and I had just gotten the Rebecca Minkoff I don't need another black with a gold flat bag um, and while these are very similar, I will totally agree to that. Um, I think they have a different enough look that I can get away with both of them. And they just, yeah, they definitely give off a different vibe. And they're side by side. You can tell they're two different colors. You can tell this is the navy. So those two are my new flat bags and I just love them. But this one especially I think is absolutely just stunning. Um, and there again, I don't really think this is from the... Um, outlet or anything I think it probably is just was an old I think this admiral color was from like past season or something so always check your TJ Maxx they always have good things there they had this color all or they had this bag also in like a berry color but I didn't really want that because I have my Tory Burch Kira in the crazy pink um and I just could not pass on this beautiful navy so that is my last TJ Maxx find and then finally, since I have like a million flat bags here, as you can see, um, I also found this beauty on the Coach Outlet website. Um, my advice to you, if you're interested in Coach Outlet or Coach, check the outlet site, but then go to the Coach Reserve section because Coach Reserve are items that came directly from the retail stores, but they just made it to the Coach Outlet site probably because they were overstock or old season or anything like that. So they're the same quality as what was in a retail store. They were in a retail store at some point and then they just got moved to the outlet. So it's Coach Reserve at the top of the Coach Outlet webpage. Um, but this bag, I just absolutely love. This is the Coach Lane Satchel in the color um, Oxblood. This, there's the info on it. I'll try to link it if I can still find it. This is, um, again, from Coach Reserve. So it was a retail store item original price $3.95. I got this bag for $1.58 out the door with tax and everything, shipping. I think probably I got a couple percent off from Ebates as well. This I just got last Friday, so I haven't had a chance to use it or anything. But I think this is just a such a stunning, really ladylike bag. It has the two handles, beautiful pebble leather. The color is just so rich. It's sort of like a raisin, um, purpley, reddish color and then it has the um gorgeous hardware i think this might be a 1941 piece as a matter of fact um which is very cool the hardware is beautiful and the detail um i just love the pleating it's very ladylike has the feet on the bottom with the smooth leather and then it has the longer strap for your shoulder which is really nice but 
Yeah, I just, I absolutely love this bag. It's such a gorgeous color, and I think it'll just be nice for fall as well. Um, and I wanted something a little bit bigger because as you can see, I'm kind of going with the flap, smaller bags, but sometimes you just need a bigger bag. So that is the extent of my contemporary designer collection, or I'm sorry, haul video. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and if you're interested in any of the items that I've shown, I will have them linked in the description box if I can still find them. I hope everyone's doing well, staying safe, and being kind. I will catch you in my next video. Take care, guys.